thank you all for coming. Um, truly, we uh, this is a time of year that we really look forward to because it gives, gives us an opportunity to get out, not only to fill the boots, but just mingle with the public in general for a, a very good cause. You know, this is a this is a long lasting partnership. You know, we got people like Chick Fil A, Walgreens, um, who kind of pitch in to help us with this as well. Uh, the Columbia Fire Department, along with Columbia and Richmond Fire Department, along with the MDA, uh, which is a very good cause. You know what we're looking for this year. You know we're right on the president of collecting three million dollars. So we want to hit that $3 million mark. It's been, you know, over the last 16 years, and we hope to meet that uh, this year. I think we're about 135, maybe $140,000 away from that goal, and that's what we want to reach this year. Uh, what you're going to see is you're going to see firefighters out on various corners uh, collecting money, both in the city of Columbia and Richmond County. So what we're encouraging everyone to do is you know, when you see the firefighters out there, stop and feel the boot. Um, one thing about this drive, we cannot do it with all the effort that the firefighters do, and they do a yeoman's effort of getting out, collecting money, but we cannot do it without your support, the public support. So we ask you to, to continue to support this effort. It's, it's a good cause, you know, when people can't smile, when people can't walk, and some people can't even breathe because of uh, the MS and, and the ALS, you know, we just want to make sure that that uh, the funds continue uh, to be collected so they can continue the research so uh, this dreaded disease can be cured and, and rid up for good. Uh, what we have with me here, the executive director of the MDA, Mr. Watts, and we'll give space to him at this time. Thank you, Chief. The Muscular Dystrophy Association in South Carolina has a tremendous partnership here in the Midlands with Chief Jenkins, the Columbia Fire Department, and the men and women who go out into the streets to collect donations. Additionally, the community themselves who fills the boot, maybe 50 cents and maybe a dollar, maybe $20, but those funds will fund the test tube that eventually funds the cure for this disease. In the last 24 months, we are very proud that we have had six new drugs come on the market, and there are over 25 drugs in the pipeline to be released in the next 16 to 18 months. As Chief mentioned, we're about to cross the threshold of $3 million that's been raised. That puts this campaign in the top 15 in the United States as far as fill the boot drives and number four in the Southeast. And we couldn't be more pleased of a very lasting partnership. There are over 1 million people living a life with muscular dystrophy, which also includes ALS. And 40% of them are under the age of the 18. This is a disease that affects everyone, whether it affects you directly or your community neighbors or your loved ones. So Chief, thank you very much for everything that you are doing, and we look forward to a great three days. Absolutely. This, this uh, boot drive will actually start uh, this coming Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I would tell you one reason why we really got intimately involved in this was because of a retired uh, battalion chief, they just be a Chief Taylor when his grandson uh, had, had this disease. And so we really intimately started get, getting involved um, at that time. Again, this drive will start this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from morning until, sun, until the sun go down. Again, you know, when you see, your fire, see the firefighters out there, uh, stop, support this effort. Uh, it is a good cause. And we look forward to reaching not only reaching, but passing that $3 million mark. As a matter of fact, we want to go way beyond that. Um, you know, so uh, we would ask you to start right now, getting them dollar bills out, getting them $5 bills out, get them $20 bills out, get your loose change out, and put whatever you can in, in those um, boots because it, it'll help.
We respond to call. We respond to fires, and we're in the business of saving, you know, saving lives and protecting lives. So, anytime you can do something like this to hit uh, this disease off, I think it's very important. All the firefighters are just worked up over doing this, and it gives us a lot of pleasure to do it. You know, because that's the nature of what we do. We care about people, and we want to. We want the best for people. So. We, uh, we don't mind doing this. It just, it's just a good feeling to get out and, and collect. And I would tell you, even yours truly going to get out and, and collect um, as well because I just enjoy being out there with the firefighters uh, uh, making this happen.